Once we have filtered our sequences and removed identical sequences, the next step is to align our context to the reference alignment. In this case, now we use the reference 16S alignment and Chipster uses the full silver reference set. At the time of making this video, the version of the reference is 132, but we are soon moving to 138. This particular reference contains over 200,000 sequences, and the majority of them are from bacteria. The reference alignment is very long, since it contains uh, the different regions of the 16S gene. You can read more about it at this Motor site. You can also provide your own reference alignment in FASTA format if needed. In the actual alignment, uh, there is first K-mer searching using eight base uh, K-mers, and this is followed by a full Needleman Wunsch pairwise alignment. The speed of this process depends obviously on the number of sequences to be aligned, but also on the length of the sequences. So in order to speed up this alignment process, uh, it is a good idea to indicate the region of the reference which matches the region that you PCR amplified. So for example, if you amplified the V2 region, then you can focus this alignment uh, to the V2 region in the reference. If you don't know the coordinates of the V2 region in the reference, you can first uh, align a small set of samples to the full reference alignment. And then once you know the coordinates, then do the whole thing uh, using those coordinates and just a subsection of the reference. So the results you get uh, are in FASTA format, uh, they will be paired, so they lead to the first base in the sequence and they also follow the last base. The Chipster tool is based on the Motor tools Align6 and PCR6. As an input, you need to give the FASTA file and the count table file, and as output, you get the aligned sequences. And you get two summary files. So one is for the reference. So it tells about the region that you selected to use. And the other summary file actually tells about your own sequences uh, in the alignment. So the files look like this. So you can see that the FASTA file is actually very airy. So there are these dots that lead to the first base in the alignment. And then as you can see, there are a lot of gaps uh, indicated by these dashes. The alignment summary file now tells the start position uh, in the alignment and the end position in the alignment. And the other, the reference summary file indicates then uh, the same things, but for the reference region that you selected. For example, you can check here what is the what is the longest homopolymer in the reference uh, in that region. After the alignment has been accomplished, we want to do another round of screening. So now we are screening the aligned sequences for the alignment position and homopolymers. So ideally all the sequences now should overlap the same alignment coordinates. So there might be deviants which start much before or end much after. And we want to do filtering based on the alignment start and end position. We also want to remove sequences which contain homopolymers that are longer than those in the reference, so that you can check in the reference summary file. 
And this tool is based on the Matur tool screen seek. So it's actually the same tool that you used earlier for screening the unaligned sequences. As you are doing this, uh, the count table uh, will be updated. So it's important to give it as input as well. Then we still need to work on the alignment a little bit. So we need to filter it uh, for empty columns and overhangs. And we also want to remove new identical sequences. So like I said earlier, the sequences now should overlap uh, the same common region in the alignment uh, without overhangs. So we need to trim the ends. So we want to remove the alignment columns, which contain those terminal gap characters or dots. We also want to remove alignment columns, which contain only gaps, the dashes. And once we do this, um, this can actually recreate identical sequences. So we need to extract unique sequences again. This Chipster tool is based on two module tools, Filter 6 and Unique 6. So as an output, you get the filtered and unique sequences in a FASTA file. You also get a log file, which tells how many alignment columns were removed. And you get an updated count table and a summary file. So here you can see what the alignment looks like before and after filtering. So you can see that these um, dots uh, leading to the first base have disappeared. You can also see that these columns, which contain only gaps in all the sequences, have disappeared. So now the T, A, C come next to each other. And also this gap, which, which has actually three bases in this gap, uh, has been reduced to two. So the alignment has become much more compact.